Welcome to Drumheller, Alberta, the dinosaur capital of the world. And in fact, right behind me is the world's largest dinosaur. But there's a lot more to Drumheller than just dinosaurs. So in this video, we're gonna show you all the other things to do. Oh my God, this thing is huge. We're Matt and Carla, a Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds, sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on earth. Even though this video is not dedicated to all the dinosaur attractions in Drumheller, you really can't come to Drumheller and miss a visit to the world famous Royal Tyrell Museum, which houses one of the best fossil collections in the world. This is Canada's only museum dedicated to the study of ancient life. And it's amazing to see how life and our world has evolved throughout millions of years with the many exhibits and fossils that you can only find here, such as the remains of the best preserved armored dinosaur in the world, the largest marine reptile ever found, and the most complete tyrannosaurid skeleton ever found. We love visiting this museum and can't wait to see what new discoveries they might find as they add about 3,000 new specimens to their collection every year. Well, as always, we learned a lot during our visit and now we're gonna go explore the Badlands a little bit. There's actually a bunch of walking trails right out front the museum, but of course these can get quite busy, especially during the summer months. So instead, we're gonna go take a guided tour in a more secluded area. So this is where we're going to start our Badlands tour. We're on the south side of Drumheller and we're going to take you into the hills and you'll be able to see some of the different geological formations. And with any luck, we may even see some wildlife. <laughs> So the actual bentonite, like it looks very crumbly and dry and cracked, but when it rains, it turns into wet clay and it's impossible to walk in these hills. You can, but you'll spend most of your time sliding. <laughs> yeah. What a beautiful sound, I love it. My favorite sage. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> I really love it. Oh, it's like a perfume. <laughs> Another day, another adventure, and now we're getting ready to go paddling down the Red Deer River with Red Deer River Adventures. Well, so far the river is very calm. It's actually very nice out, super quiet. And it's actually quite shallow. You can see the bottom so far pretty much everywhere I've looked and even see clams along the way. These holes along the bank here are bank swallow nests and they uh, nest in colonies like that. And they can be at risk of being flooded during the spring runoff season. How are you liking it so far? Oh, it's beautiful. I always like to be on the water. It's so calm. You can listen to the birds. And what I like that Jim, our guide, said is that you're paddling down millions of years of history. Anyone who tells you Canada is cold hasn't been here in the summer. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Well, after a half day paddling, it's always great to have lunch. And now we're at Bernie and the Boys, which we've been told is the most unique place in town. They're really known for their milkshakes and burgers. We already have our mocha milkshake and now we're waiting on something they're also famous for, their mammoth burger. Oh my God, this thing is huge and it's probably Canadian. <laughs> the fun part is gonna be to hold this thing off. They even bring you a knife to cut it. But I'm just gonna try to hold it. <laughs> Very tasty. 
This is actually this, the bite that I just gave to this massive burger. Aw, so cute. <laughs> Let's just say it's a good thing we have a half decent healthcare system in Canada. If you're eating stuff like this. <laughs> My jaw cracked. <laughs> it actually hurt. Wow. Your lady just told us that the record, someone ate one of these in nine minutes. Pretty sure I'd be in the hospital. I think it's time to cut this thing up. <laughs> Otherwise, we just look ridiculous. <laughs> Everyone's watching in here, not just you guys. But actually, the price is not that bad. Like, it's $35, yeah. and four people can eat out of this burger. For sure. It is pretty much four burgers in one. That's what it works out to. It's a 24 ounce, so. It's big. Of course, we couldn't finish it all, but we managed to eat half. And because we feel so bad throwing out food, we're gonna try to have it for supper. So by now you're probably wondering where we're staying on this trip and this is our cabin right behind us. We're actually staying at Horseshoe Canyon Campground. It's a pretty new campground in the area. It's only 15 minutes from Drumheller, but best of all, it's right across the street from beautiful Horseshoe Canyon. And they have a bunch of different sites, whether you have a tent, an RV, or if you want to stay in one of their eight cabins. And there's all kinds of amenities here as well, such as a general store and showers. These cabins are pretty much brand new. They all sleep four people. There's a double bed and a bunk bed inside. I love that it's handmade with wood. It's a very nice touch. You even have a swing, a brand new barbecue. And most importantly, they also have heat and AC. And this might sound funny, but they have a bunch of hooks and a mirror. This makes it easier to hang all our clothes off and I don't need to walk to the bathroom to put my makeup on. Well, now that it's a little cooler, we just walked across the street. Here we are at Horseshoe Canyon. We're gonna do a little hike down into the canyon, but before that, we came to the viewpoint. There's actually a whole bunch of them here that overlook the canyon. It kind of reminds me of like a miniature version of the Grand Canyon. I'm the happiest person on these hikes because there's so much sage. It actually does smell super good. I know. <laughs> can you smell? <laughs> I am stuffed up, but still, I can still smell the sage. <gasps> Before Drumheller was known for dinosaurs, it was known for its coal. And right behind me is the Atlas Coal Mine National Historic Site, which is considered to be the most complete historic coal mine in all of Canada. Our visit is gonna start with the mine portal hike, which is a tour that you take inside the mine. And you actually need to book all the tours in advance. And for this one, you need closures. During our tour, we learned about what life was like for the miners and how the coal mining process worked, which included going inside Canada's last standing wooden coal tipple and the largest still standing in North America. We then saw some of the best views of the valley as we made our way to the underground mine, where we got to see some of the old mining equipment, handle some coal, learn about the layout of the mine, and hold a dinosaur fossil that was found on site. So whether you explore the site on your own or join one of their tours, this is a great way to experience a mine that played a crucial role in the economy of the Drumheller Valley. As you can imagine, with the popularity of the Atlas Coal Mine, people start settling with their families nearby. So just five minutes 
away, we're now at the Iskuli School Museum. Although the museum can be visited on your own, we highly recommend taking a tour to learn more about the history and the stories of the people that call this place home, including the first European settlers, the shacks the miners will initially live in, as well as the tools they will use, the homes they will move up to once they had a family, and of course, what life was like for the students. Very different from what it's like today. We also went to the basement to see more dinosaur fossils and a room filled with coal. That's it for our visit to Drum Heller. It's so cool to have such an amazing destination so close to Calgary. And as you could see in this video, there's much more to Drum Heller than just dinosaurs. Yeah, so definitely if you're coming down here, it's worth more than a day trip. We definitely recommend spending a few nights and trying out all sorts of activities and attractions. Plus, if you want to avoid the crowds, you can come in the fall because we've heard there's some pretty beautiful fall colors to be seen here as well. So just thank you to Travel Drum Heller for bringing us here. We had a really good time. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment. And for more information on what to do in Drum Heller and other parts of Alberta and Canada, check out our website at mustbecanada.com. Oi, oi, oi. You just witnessed something special. <laughs> I wonder what he wants. <laughs> this is probably why I'm stuffed up, actually. Because <laughs> you're allergic to the outdoors. I'm allergic to nature, but that doesn't stop me. <laughs>